Hello, I'm Jacob from BreviousLighting.com, and in this short video, I'd like to present you with some garage lighting ideas. Most people who spend a lot of time in their garage have no interest in fancy schmancy lighting, but that doesn't mean that you can't put a little forethought into making your garage a highly functional and pleasing place. With a little bit of planning, you can give your garage a very sleek look and have plenty of light for all that you want to do there. Here are four layouts that achieve both form and function. First layout, the functional two-car garage. Your options are limited in a standard two-car garage with a small work area and storage compartments all around, but you will certainly want to be able to see even in this type of garage. Nothing is more aggravating than not being able to see inside your car after you've parked it or tripping over a stray tool as you make your way from the garage into your home. This scheme solves those problems with central fluorescence and fluorescence on the sidewalls. This will give you plenty of light around the cars. Your work table will need its own task lights, and the installation of outlets in different spots in the storage area enables you to move lights around the garage as needed, without bulky cables or wires draped everywhere. This layout also makes it easy to move from the garage to the outdoors, either in your car or on foot. Second layout, the versatile two-car garage. This option goes easy on the fluorescence and heavy on sleeker fixtures such as track lights, which will beam right onto your tools and storage area, giving you excellent visibility and your garage a very clean and modern look. Rather than a central fluorescent, the central part of the garage can have two much more versatile metal halide downlights, which can be pulled down for a look underneath your car. With this layout, your garage will look like a set for a televised mechanic show. Third layout, the heavy-duty working one-car garage. This layout is for the garage that has space for two cars, but uses one of those large areas for serious work. Task lights illuminate the work table and steel worktop, while a single metal halide light beams down on the car, giving plenty of shine. The other down lights should all be movable, so that you can put the beam right on your project at the time. With bright light all over the floor, you can see all that you need to if working on your pet car project. Fourth layout, the functional one-car garage. If you're not planning on rebuilding an engine anytime soon, but do like to putter around in your garage, this layout gives lots of light in the storage areas so that you can locate your tools when you need them. It also provides plenty of illumination for sitting at the bench and working with adequate but not excessive light focused on the floor of the open area. This scheme assumes that you'll do most of your work at waist level, not floor level. I hope I've managed to show you some basic garage lighting layouts. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to know more about home lighting, watch our other videos and visit www.breviouslighting.com.